My sweet brother. What have you done? Mary! Oh, no. Mary! Hold on. Please, hold on. Oh, God. Mary. Mary. No. No. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head, her mind shattered, and, and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family, my poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. 
pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries, and time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me, is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Someone's playing a very sick game. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. This window was shattered with violent force. 
Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? Where does this blood trail lead? Speak English, do ya? Easy, guys. You're surprised. Now get them weapons ready! Only a golden watch in her pockets. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. It's a sick game, but given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. They've all been butchered.
to me. Someone help me! You! What have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary. Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious brother. What is Mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug. A tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth! Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed. Reunited and complete. Living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, Mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. 
Yes. I'll go home. And rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for good. You left me to rot in this grave. Kiss me again. I'll make you kneel like a dog, just as you did to sh Assassin! Rest in peace, master. It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep.
I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. <laughs>